Namaste. So, dear learner, today we will uh, discuss two important uh, concept in philosophy of education, naturalism and humanism. Uh, they are quite uh, um, similar, but there are some differences. We will try to understand. What we will do, we will first uh, uh, explain what is naturalism and then what is humanism, what are their implication for education and uh, how uh, various education, what are the basic assumptions and principle inbuilt in naturalism and humanism. So uh, as we all know, these are the two school of thought, uh, both are uh, um, have a huge implication for education. So let us start with uh, uh, naturalism and uh, we we will uh, try to understand that how uh, how it was conceptualized in the course of history uh, naturalism asserting that the all things and occurrence in the universe and are natural whatever their essential character may be and uh, naturalism also focus on that nature and god are two different things. Uh, this is a philosophical doctrine that link scientific technique to philosophy by stating that the all things and occurrence in the universe regardless of their inherent characters are natural uh, and uh, we, we have to have respect it. Uh, we have to have respect in all domain of life including education that all knowledge of cosmos fall under the purview of scientific inquiry that is the one of other premise that naturalism uh, uh, help us, uh, naturalism suggests us that uh, uh, how to uh, consider any form of experience as knowledge. Uh, naturalism also believe that nothing exists beyond natural world. So whatever you can see, whatever you can experience, that is a kind of a form of uh, naturalism. So, uh, uh, before proceeding further, uh, let us see how Britannica Encyclopedia uh, explain naturalism. So, uh, I mean here you can see that the way Britannica Encyclopedia present naturalism is a philosophy, a theory that relates scientific method to philosophy by affirming that all beings and event in the universe, whatever inherent character may be as you we also discussed in uh, little while ago that are natural. Consequently, all knowledge of the inverse fall in the pale of scientific investigation. What does it mean? I mean, whatever you call knowledge that can be uh, understand, that can be investigate, that can be inquiry through the scientific method. Although naturalism deny the existence of truly supernatural reality, I mean the, any form of God, uh, the way we, we think, but uh, uh, nature itself a supernatural. I mean it make allowance to the supernatural, uh, provide that the knowledge of it can be had indirectly. That is, uh, that natural object be influenced by the so called supernatural entity uh, in a detectable way. Uh, I mean you can detect, it's not that the, you can't detect, I mean the sum of religion I suggest as that uh, we can't detect God, we can't find God, but uh, uh, here uh, in naturalism we understand that whatever the supernatural entity also can be detectable. So uh, this is the form of naturalism, uh, we will certainly like to understand what are the basic assumptions of naturalism and education. So uh, based on assumptions that uh, nature represents the wholeness of the reality, uh, that is the one, I mean basic assumption that any form of, you just observe nature and you can find that the water, what are the reality is, you feel nature. Uh, I mean nature never uh, restricted to the uh, plant and vegetable uh, that are surrounded around us. But nature is much more bigger than the um, mere uh, vegetable and f uh, plants that we observe around us. And then uh, 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 we, we should also understand 
that uh, one of the key stress of naturalism is that nature and God are two different idea. Nature is verifiable. You can verify nature. You can observe nature. You can feel nature. You can investigate to understand nature's reality. But in case of God, uh, probably it is not. Uh, which, which is more close to belief. So, naturalist philosophy and naturalist philosopher always stress on nature and nature, uh, nature that is different from God. Ultimate reality lies in the nature of the matter. I mean, whatever you can touch, I mean, you can even if you walk, whatever you can feel, uh, even in uh, uh, Indian tradition, we always uh, 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 referring to panch tattva and eventually I mean this uh, uh, tattva are various other kind but the panch tattva uh, uh, that is the one of the great reality that is the matter, matter of nature. This whole universe and the, another principle that naturalism is stress on, this whole universe is governed by the law of nature. I mean whatever the law, I mean there are multiple, I mean you can al always found uh, there are so many law that are visible in the nature. For example, in certain uh, season, there could be a rain, uh, there could be a heat. Uh, if sun uh, rise, then you, you automatically feel another uh, 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 kind of experience. Uh, when sun uh, set, after sunset, you feel another kind of experience. So, this whole universe is governed by the law of nature. I mean, this law of nature is simple. Of course, it's not a very simplistic, but it's the simple. However, there are much more nuances. We, we, there are ultimate things in, that are involved in nature. And these natures are governed. I mean, the way uh, earth is rotate, uh, the way uh, earth uh, circled around sun, the way uh, 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 moon circle around earth. So all things, even the way plant grow, the way child take birth, the way child learn, all things have certain law. That law are inbuilt in the nature. So education must confirm uh, to the natural process of the growth and mental development. Education is a process of development of naturalistic life. Uh, that are the two, I mean, uh, major premise, major takeaway for education. That one is that uh, uh, there, there are some natural processes. The way child grow, uh, uh, he or she required certain kind of uh, emotional support. So emotion, the kind of emotion, uh, uh, null support, the overall growth is not restricted to the one side growth of the cognitive uh, rote memorization kind of the thing, but it's the required the overall growth. Then uh, uh, the education is a process of development of naturalistic life. Uh, we can also see that how it's, uh, 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 what are the others? I mean, the one of the key, uh, as we you, we discussed, that uh, a naturalist philosopher uh, follow nature in education. And they, uh, they stress that we need to appreciate nature and all education to be coherence with the nature of child. Now, what is the nature of child? Child is curious, that is the nature of child. Child hate rote memorization, that is the nature of child. Child hate being rude by the people around her or him. So, uh, uh, this, is, this is the nature of child. So, if you want to create a naturalist environment of children education, you have to have you have to have understand child nature. Uh, again, the naturalist philosophy uh, philosopher have very high level of appreciation for freedom and central position for child, child teaching learning process. Uh, we will, we will uh, explain it a little later and what does it mean by freedom? What does it mean by child central position? I mean, you always know the way 1986 policy, uh, national policy of education of India uh, suggests child-centered education. That is, uh, in a way, that is the takeaway from naturalism. Uh, it believed that, uh, uh, again, naturalism is also believed that education should be accordance to the nature of child. 
and uh, uh, if child uh, we we first we need to understand there is a lot of focus to understanding child there are a lot of focus on understanding child nature it advocate creation of natural condition in which uh, development of child can be take place uh, for for example wait for a minute uh, we always uh, teach children in a very uh, artificial classroom environment where one side there are multiple chairs or sometime uh, carpet are there students are sitting there and teacher are standing on other side there is a blackboard so this is the constructed uh, uh, kind of environment whereas the naturalist environment is relatively dif different it could be the garden it could be a playground it could be the river side it could be a farm house it could be a, a, a agricultural land any place a forest uh, where you can uh, you can uh, uh, think about the nature of uh, how uh, to bring children close to nature and so a uh, uh, naturalist philosopher advocate uh, uh, to create a natural condition uh, for uh, natural condition for children now uh, uh, we 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 should also uh, find a uh, need to uh, uh, understand that uh, uh, how uh, what is humanism and uh, what are the basic assumptions of humanism in education so humanism uh, is a progressive philosophy of life uh, without any theism or other supernatural belief it also uh, uh, affirm our i mean the our ability and responsibility to lead ethical life of personal fulfillment that aspire to the greater good uh, this is this is the kind of a uh, definition that proposed by american humanist association uh, uh, let us understand what does what does it mean by greater good see good is a very relative term uh, it might be a good for me but cannot be a good for other or may be good for him but cannot good for her so uh, this need to be understand how it focus on greater good so when humanism uh, focus on greater good it means that the good which is mostly acceptable i mean the kind of universal acceptability that is possible for universalization the the nature and practice that is universalization for example if i am speaking lies and you are also speaking lies then it is impossible it is irrational that world can function however if i am speaking truth and you are also speaking truth then it is possible for universalization of truth it is practically possible but lies is not practical possible that's why the greater good means that the good practice that can be universalized again i mean the humanist philosopher focus on individual humanist reject idea or belief in a supernatural being such as god uh, and uh, as as we told uh, that humanist focus to seek happiness in their life uh, there are certain assumptions for education uh, first assumption uh, what human humanist think so that free will they they think that uh, learner must learner have to have choice learner have if learner need to be a free choice to do and think what they want and what we want so uh, the free will there is a the lot of importance on free will then uh, emotion impact on learning i mean uh, humanist philosopher are also uh, very much concern about positive emotional state to achieve our best if uh, learner feel good and learner be in good emotional state then it is easier for learner to learn uh, then uh, humanist also believe that the rather on thrust something on learner we need to find way to motivate them so intrinsic motivation has a great value for education and uh, uh, we we need to find out what could be the best way uh, so that learner can can learn so learner can be motivated uh, then uh, it's also believe that all human are good so these are the some concern help us to formulate how humanistic think about education i mean 
humanistic uh, uh, learning is student center so student center uh, like uh, uh, naturalism uh, humanism is also a uh, believe on uh, child centeredness and uh, encourage to take uh, uh, learner should take control on education whatever learner want to do so it facilitate learner uh, uh, to to take initiative uh, it also uh, encourage student Uh, to focus on a specific subject area of interest for a reasonable amount of time uh, that they choose uh, humanism is one theory that has been used both teaching and learning I mean the teacher or humanist uh, he facilitate learner i mean he he try to understand what is the learner choices what is the learner believe is what learner is interested in so humanism is a belief Uh, that the individual uh, have control their own uh, uh, this this is the way uh, that the uh, humanist teacher allow learner so that learner feel that this is my my initiative teacher is just here to help me uh, given that the reason of uh, uh, intelligence is a man finest trait educator should focus their effort to intellectual development uh that is another form of a humanist principle uh student learning should be self directed uh, that always humanist philosopher will what does it mean by self directed i mean we all, you can always feel that uh, uh, every student are good in one or two subject so for example uh, uh, some student may be good in uh, drawing or may be good in the sports uh, but uh, he is relatively struggling with mathematics and science so in that condition it is important that uh, uh, students should choose not only their direction but also their pace to learning so uh, and here we uh, educator i mean the teacher should understand where student can go fast and where student need more support so a uh, humanist philosopher are not agree on that uh they they understand that the evaluation should be self evaluation only self evaluation can be meaningful uh in that condition teacher should learn how to motivate a learner so that he or she can be evaluate herself learning process i mean uh, education uh, 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 the way humanist define education uh, for them it's not the result and end goal is important for them learning process is important and this should be uh, must happen in overall non threatening environment which is which is uh, which is according to humanist our best environment uh, where one can learn so uh, uh, you can also find uh, that uh, uh, what are the basic principle uh, that humanist uh, education uh, humanist philosopher apply in education so students should have option to picking and choosing what they want to learn uh, the first i mean if a student want to learn math he can choose math or she can choose math if a student uh, want to engage with physics uh, she can uh, engage we should not focus on uh, force on student that no 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 you should also uh, uh, divide adequate time or adequate effort to uh, learn uh, music and social science i mean here a uh, humanist philosopher allow children to uh, choose so uh, uh, these uh, these are the first this is the first principle that the student have option to picking and choosing the subject they want to learn education should also stimulate student desire to learn while also teaching them how to learn what does it mean i mean we should not tell a student or force a student to learn one subject but we make an environment where student feel to learn uh, that uh, he he feel herself in interested in one particular subject and it's not only that she or he feel to learn but we should also teach learner how to learn so it's not only the content that is the choice but we should also allow children or make capable children or make capable learner that they should learn how uh, how to learn then uh, uh, humanistic educator believe educator believe that the grade and grades uh, 
which we are allotting at the end examination are meaningless. That the only thing that uh, matter uh, in case of learner is that what learner herself think about their performance, their learning. Only if learner believe that I am not doing good, then she may work out or he may work out uh, in the alternative way to learn better uh, and do better performance. Uh, the fourth is the both, I mean information, facts, uh, 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 knowledge, uh, cognitive domain, uh, cognitive knowledge, all are important. But same time emotion is also important for learning process. So humanist is not separating emotion from the uh, 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 what we call information or facts are that are being to be learned. In order to uh, humanist is uh, humanist also uh, uh, focus uh, in order to ensure learning uh, become easier and more meaningful. Uh, they focus that uh, it is uh, important that people feel safe. Uh, I mean, if learner not feel safe, uh, they always uh, act under a pressure. Then probably they will not learn. Humanist educator uh, believe that a school should give people with a safe and secure environments in which to learn. Uh, learning become easier and more meaningful if people feel safe. Uh, that is what the humanist philosopher understand. Now, uh, uh, coming to the last part of this uh, discussion. So, uh, think both on humanism and naturalism. And uh, now it is a task for you. What is, what is knowledge? for naturalist and humanist. I mean, what, what could be knowledge? So, I mean, you can find out the way. Naturalist can suggest you to observing nature. Humanist can suggest that probably we need to think about uh, 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 what is the learning process, uh, how an individual constructing knowledge. So, idea of knowledge is different in naturalism and humanism. So, learner, uh, this is a task for you. Try to uh, list down two or three form of knowledge which are suit for naturalist and humanist. Then, what is the aim of education? And probably you can uh, think about uh, how, what naturalists think about uh, what, what could be education. What humanists think about what could be education. Uh, we have already discussed so, if you can repeat this video or maybe you can go to the website and find out what are the aim of education for naturalist and humanist. Uh, now then, how is school work? Uh, I mean, if we, we are designing education, then how it's, what, what, is, what is the nature of a school? Uh, uh, in, in case of you adopting naturalist philosophy and in case of you adopting humanist philosophy, as we discussed, I mean, humanist philosophy, it should be a non-threatening place. place. So similarly, you can find out that what, how, how naturalist uh, uh, can design a school. What could be the process of learning uh, in naturalism and humanism? And finding what, what does it mean by learner? How we, we uh, uh, conceptualizing a learner in naturalist and humanist? So these are the four or five points uh, for you to think about for further learning. You can go on website, you can go to the Stanford uh, 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 Encyclopedia, you can go to the uh, Britannica Encyclopedia, you can find out other several other. Uh, you can also read a uh, uh, work of uh, Ravindranath Tagore, you can also read work of uh, Rousseau, you can also read uh, uh, some uh, uh, recent philosopher like uh, John D.V., Gandhi, uh, Paulo Freire. Uh, so, uh, uh, you, 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 uh, you more nuanced way you understand what does it mean by naturalism and humanism. Uh, uh, so, uh, learner, this is the uh, a very initial introduction for naturalism and humanism. Hope you will go and find out more uh, interesting book in uh, 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 which help you to understand naturalism and humanism. However, I suggest you to please uh, read uh, some of the key writings of uh, Ravindranath Tagore and also if work for you, uh, you can also read a, a book by uh, uh, John Jack Russo uh, that is uh, Emil. Uh, so this, this will help you to understand what is 
uh, naturalism and then if you want to understand humanism you can also go through some of the uh, uh, philosopher of 20th century. Uh, thank you, thank you so much.